Diana. Today we're going to talk about why your natural hair will not curl. Well, there's a lot of reasons why your natural hair um, might not curl. I mean, it could be hereditary, simply that you don't have a curl pattern due to, you know, genetics. Or you're, you're simply born with either natural or straight hair. So, I'm going to go back into the science of it all. Proteins have side bonds, which are the hydrogen salt and disulfide bonds. And it's responsible for elasticity and strength of the hair. This is what a healthy cuticle looks like. It lays flat and tight, and it definitely is going to protect your hair from damage. This is what a damaged um, cuticle looks like. It's chipped, and it's not, it is, does not lay tight, and it's rough, dull, and prone to split ends and breakage. What is hair made up of? Well, it's made up of protein. And basically, our protein is what defines our hair structure and so it's made up of amino acids and you have a lot of amino acids that's inside the protein and basically it forms your elasticity and strength in the hair and basically it has three layers you have your um, outer layer your middle layer and then you have your inner layer but we're not going to get into all of the naming it, we just know that the middle layer, which is your cortex, this is where you get your strength and your elasticity. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because you may have damaged your hair. And if you damage the structure of your hair, it could possibly be weak, and that's why you don't have a curl pattern. So it could be due to a chemical service, or it could simply be from just excessive heat and um, different products that you're using over time that damage the hair, you know, cuticle. And basically, um, that's resulting in why you're not getting a curl pattern. Other factors is due to your hair texture. Your hair texture, um, it could just be simply a 4C. A 4C is a, um, the hair texture where you don't get no curl definition at all when you're not using any gels and you, you do your hair on clean hair. So there's no texture at all. So there's nothing really you can do to get, to create that curl pattern on its own. You have to do like twist outs and braid outs and uh, protective hairstyles to create that curl pattern because you don't have that type of hair which will allow you to get that curl pattern. So that's why you generally see a lot of people asking questions as why my hair won't curl like, you know, the girl hair on um, TV or they looking at a particular style that they want and they can't create that style. It's because it's that, it depends on that type of hair that they have. So if you have a 4A four um, type hair, then you definitely have that hair where you can see the curl definition. So you can do like your wash and go and, you know, put gel on it and just go on about your business. But if you have a um, 4B hair type, then it's like more of a zigzag. You have a little curl definition, but you still have to do like your protective hairstyling to create a more defined curl pattern. This is your hair type chart, which shows what each curl type looks like. I also wanted to say that 4A hair has an S pattern. So you would know because you'll see the pattern and if you have a 4B, then it would be like a Z pattern. Your 4C, def there's definitely no definition again. And then I meant to say that 3C is a corkscrew pattern. So I'm just basically getting into the curlier and kinkier hair types. Now, the way we can find out why our hair is not receiving a curl pattern, is to do elasticity tests. And how to do that is you're gonna, you're gonna take a piece of hair, you know, you know, you get your shedding, so just pull out a piece of hair. It has to be wet. And what happens is you pull it straight out, and if it bounces back 50%, you know that you have strong elasticity. But on the other hand, if it doesn't, it doesn't shrink back 50%, you know it's weak. So that's why your hair is not curling the way you would like it to curl. And you simply want to just do like deep conditioning treatments. And you definitely want to restructure the hair by doing protein treatments 
or reconstructors because now you need to um, build that protein back up so that the hair becomes strong again. And that's the only way you're going to see more defined definition in that curl pattern. So um, definitely you want to stay away from heat, chemical services, anything like manipulating the hair, try to find different ways in managing the hair so that you can get, the, get it to strengthen back over time. And um, buns, you don't really have to do like curl, like curly styles. You can even do pinup styles or braids or whatever. Just let your hair breathe and let it um, like stay in that protective style for like a month or two so that it allows it to grow and become a little more healthier. Also, you definitely want to get the ends trimmed off, the split ends, because you're not going to get a lot of curl definition if you have a lot of split ends on your hair. So I know we want to retain our length, but we still have to keep our ends trimmed. So definitely drink lots and lots of water. And like I said, you need proper nutrition. So just because you keep your hair maintained, you still got to um, in internally keep that healthy as well. So you have to eat your fruits and vegetables. And vitamin B12 is a good um, way to go. Um, it definitely helps with um, your hair and strengthening it and definitely your internal like um, um, organs and stuff like that. So B12 and multi-tablets and anything with iron, um, you have your iron, um, what else, zinc, fish, um, fish oils, and um, omega fatty threes, and like I said, different vitamins that will help, like, uh, get your hair back and get your, get your body back right, get you healthy. Your um, sulfate free shampoo, something gentle that's not going to break your hair, something that's not going to dry your hair out. You want to detangle it softly. So you reduce shedding, reduce breakage, and reduce um, excessive damage to the hair. And definitely avoid harsh chemicals on the hair. Read the labels on your products. If you see labels, ingredients on your product that you cannot read, then you already know that it's chemicals in it. You definitely want your natural products. They're the safest to go. And make sure that you can understand what you read. And make sure that it doesn't have any oil, petroleum and minerals in it. Because we already have the fragile hair. So anything that's going to dry our hair out is only going to make it break more. So definitely avoid those, those things that I mentioned. I have 4A hair. So I know that what works for me is deep conditioning my hair. And also adding my butters. You need your cream in your hair. And the oils, your natural oils. And this definitely will help you keep it moist. And also, you want to definitely, like, twist out the hair or braid the hair out. Because sometimes we don't get that curl definition. And it depends on the moisture in the air. I mean, sometimes you get more frizz than you do a curl pattern. It doesn't matter what type of curl type you have. So you definitely have to make sure that you put the right products in your hair and do your homework. And definitely what product worked for me might not work for you. So you want to definitely experiment. Thanks guys for watching. Please rate and subscribe to Tiana Brooks Naturals. And um, I'll see you in my next video. So have a good one.